Hi, my name is Peach. Let me not waste your time. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do an offset frame just like this. To start off, we're going to grab an adjustment clip from our effects library. If you don't know how to do that, we're going to go to effects library, toolbox, down to effects, and grab an adjustment clip. Here I'm just going to grab an adjustment clip that I already have, place it on our timeline. Next, we're going to put our adjustment clip on the last frame of our clip and shrink it down to that size. Then we're going to go to our fusion page. In our fusion page, what we're going to do is grab a transform node. That's what I'm going to use is the new one, the one without the XF at the end. I'm going to click that, make sure you click it, and add it to the graph. Here, I'm just going to keyframe the Y position, and then move one frame forward, keyframe it again, but change this value to 1. Now what we're going to do is go to our spline graph. In the spline graph, turn on the position Y, and resize the keyframes. What we're going to do is move this first keyframe back by one frame. So we're going to zoom out a little bit, highlight this keyframe, hold down Alt, move this keyframe to the left. Once that is done, you should have something that looks like this. Now what we're going to do is change our edge behavior from transparent to wrap around and then move our motion blur settings from 0 to 0.5. And you have something that looks like this. Now if you're editing on Resolve 16, you won't have access to this transform node. So the way that you could do it, grab the regular transform node, place it under your node graph, and move this value to 1. Then for your edges, put a wrap. And then this time we're going to add a directional blur. Place it on, and what we're going to do is change the length and change the angle. Something like that. And if I compare the two, the directional blur one is on the left, and the, and the transform one is on the right. Very, very similar, and you get the same effect. If you have any more questions or tutorials I should do in the future, please let me know down below. If you'd like to join the Resolve AMI Community Discord, the link is also in the description, as well as my own personal server if you would like to join. And with that, subscribe and have a good day. Yo, so I made a goal this month that I'm going to start learning Blender. If that'd be something you guys want to see on a future stream, please let me know. I think it'd be a fun thing to do.